Augustia, Simulating Your Desires. Now, this is a reframe on manifestation knowledge that I've already passed along before about how to build memory in advance to create the effect of a manifestation that you want to realize. Simulating your manifestation means you focus on present tense experience of what you have already created. Even though it may seem funny that, well, maybe I'm vis or simulating a health that I want to have, but I'm not feeling like that right now. How can that be? You are trying to build a memory in advance to support the effect. So you need a new cause to create the effect of whatever it is you want. So one way of looking at this, a very mainstream idea is simulation. This is something anybody can do, whether you're into meditation or not. Forget the word or concepts meditation, which is a very loaded word, often associated with spiritual philosophies and like this. Building memory in advance is a scientific uh, observation and that has been researched by people like Joe Dispenza and others. Even quantum physics, which says the inside and the outside are one and the same. The observer theory, the observed and the observer. So we're acknowledging that manifestation is in fact creating a cause to build an effect on the outside. So how do you simulate what it is that you want to create? Well, there's two ways I recommend doing this. There's the extended practice in the morning and evening, and then there's in between to reinforce it. Now, what I find myself doing is the in-between is very, very important, and they're both important and for different reasons. The extended practices are good for planting the, med the, the simulation deep into your psyche or deep into your mind. So much so that what happens, what I've been observing is, you can come to a point where if you even have, so say you meditate on a certain or you simulate a certain money amount that you want to make, right? I am having this much passive income per month. What I've been finding is during the day, when I recall that thought, I automatically kind of start popping back into that experience I was having during the extended meditation. Just by having the thought, it's like the thought is a trigger for that, that chemical release of a certain elevated state of consciousness. I can even feel my third eye become active. And so the extended practices are very important. So what you do is you lay down on the bed or you sit in a chair uh, first thing in the morning and be just before you're going to sleep. I like to lay down personally. I've trained myself to do that. It can be difficult at first because you want to fall asleep. But if you practice enough, it's something worth trying. It's very, very comfortable and it's a way your body can totally relax. So that way you can just uh, work on the mind part of it, not have to worry about, oh, my, my leg hurts. I want to move this. And you're fighting thoughts about how your body pain, right? So the extended practice, I do the Ah meditation, which is uh, it can be found on YouTube from Dr. Ply. You just type in Dr. Ply Ah meditation. He's got several videos that are free. And you're basically taking the sound Ah and raising it from the bottom of your spine to different energy centers along your spine up into your third eye area. And then you simulate uh, what you want. So simulation can be fleshed out as imagery. So you see yourself... Like, for example, I have an app on my phone where I have a bank app on my phone that I use to do money transfers and check my accounts, right? So part of my visualization for the money that I want to make is I visualize myself scrolling through my app and seeing that certain dollar being put into my account, right? I have an Excel spreadsheet that I use to uh, factor my budget. And uh, there's a certain slot on that spreadsheet that I put on how much money I'm making per month. And that impacts my monthly or I'm sorry my weekly spend and one column I have all my uh, expenses so I also visualize myself putting in that number into the spreadsheet of the money I'm making per month so these are a couple ideas to give you some and I, when I do this it's also I'm feeling the phone as I'm going through it I'm going through the whole, it's clicking the computer you can really wrap yourself in this memory and it gets to the point where it's very easy for you to like, identify with that which you want to realize. And this is very important because like Dr. Ply teaches, in order to create anything, first you have to be able to conceive. And for most people, the problem lies in conception. In other words, you want to make a certain amount of money per month. And I'm using money. This could be relationships. This could be health, whatever. You want to make a certain amount of money per month, but you yourself aren't able to conceive of a version of you who is living that reality. You can only conceive right now a certain ceiling which you are currently manifesting. So the whole name of the game is very simple, is to re-identify yourself. 
Identity is simply a, a, a synthesis, a culmination of memory. Your, your identity as it stands now is just a personification of the sum total of all the memory that is within your body, whether it's coming from your conditioning as a child, through your genetics that you were born with, that includes your mother and father, and also your ancestors, which epigenetics, even modern science admits, you're carrying at least 15 generations of memory of your ancestors, which affects how you think, different diseases you have, etc. So, to wrap this up and to summarize, practice on simulating experiences, circumstances, could be objects, it could be uh, health, certain Body things, like for example, there's an example that Dr. Pai always gives about the woman who wanted to change her nose. She had a certain nose and she wanted to make it a certain size and shape, so she would focus on or simulate herself having this shape of a nose. This is how long it was, this is how wide it was, etc., right? And after a while, this manifests as her getting an actual surgery that, and getting the money for that surgery to get the perfect nose that she wanted. And the nose, you know, apparently looked just how she visualized it. So give this a try. Simulate what you want. And then during the day, use the practice of the midbrain tapping combined with the simulation. You can do this in 30 seconds. You can do this in 60 seconds. Sometimes I do it faster. Sometimes I do it a little bit longer. The key is frequency. So frequency or consistency is king. I made a video about this in the past. This constant bombarding of your mind with imprinting it with these this present tense thinking so the technique is very simple you can use your right ring finger your pink or right pinky finger i like to use sometimes both i'm i'm now days i'm using my ring finger whatever that means so you tap a small line from your uh between your eyebrows to here you can also go all the way to the top of your head and then once you tap it out you you visualize the line and what i've been doing is the first thing i do is i visualize that line and then i put myself I put the emotion or feeling of gratitude. So gratitude is like a field of receptivity that you put yourself into. The most receptive state of being is gratitude. Gratitude signifies your body, your chemistry, that you are receiving something. And that's, a, that's how you're building memory because these chemicals actually upregulate and downregulate genetic expression according to the work of Joe Dispenza. Genetic expression changes your memory it changes the information thereby it creates a new effect so if you can do this continuously you can reprogram your entire body mind and soul to create something new and the more you do this the faster you'll be able to do it as well so you tap out the line you 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 put your state self into a state of gratitude you fake it you just it's something you can't put into words it's something you have to engineer you can do it on the drop of a dime if you practice enough and then you drop in a thought of I have this much money per month. And then you see yourself, you simulate it. And then you put the sound ah into it. You can do it my mentally or you can do it out loud. And then you drop it and let it go. And you can do this again in about 30 seconds. So I hope this is useful. I really wanted to pass this along because I had a conversation with my mother the other day who's not really into meditation and all these spiritual concepts. But when I was talking to her about simulating what she wants because she's going through health things and I was telling her about simulating and how much it's been helping me. So I've been dealing with a health, certain health problem in my own life and for a while now and recently I've been doing higher frequency simulations that I've noticed has been helping a lot. It's made a significant noticeable difference and so I was telling her about this and trying to get her and this explanation of simulation really got her to pay attention and it's something that even she was turned on to use someone who's not into this so i'm sharing this along with others who may find this useful so if you like this video if you found it useful give it a like for other people to find it in their news feed and as always leave a comment underneath with any questions or feedback i'd love to hear from you and i will try to respond to all of everything wishing you the best god bless